Hi everyone, here is our math problem for today. A circle of radius 1 is externally tangent to a circle of radius 3 and both circles are tangent to a line. So circle P has a radius of 1 unit and circle Q has a radius of 3 units. Both of these circles are tangent to this blue line and we want to know what is the area of the shaded region between the two circles and the blue line. So we want to find what is the area of this red shaded region. You can pause the video and see if you can solve this problem. Now let's solve this problem together. First, we can drop a perpendicular from the center of circle Q to the line and let's call this point of intersection as point R. So the angle here is 90 degrees. Let's do the same from point P going to point S. And the angle here is also 90 degrees. Next, from this point P, let's draw a line segment parallel to side SR and perpendicular to QR. So the angle here is also another right angle. Now, what we have here is a trapezoid PQRS and a right triangle PQ, and let's call this point as point T, right triangle PQT. We know that the radius of the small circle is one unit, so this segment TR is also one unit. And since the radius QR is three units, it follows that the length of segment QT must be two units. So we have here a triangle, a right triangle, and the hypotenuse is three plus one or four units, and one of the legs is two units. When we have this right triangle where one of the sides is one half that of the hypotenuse, we know that the angle opposite these two units must be 30 degrees. And if it's 30 degrees, this angle here must be 60 degrees. And so we have a 30, 60, 90 triangle. From here, it follows that the length of the side PT can be computed as the square root of 3 over 2 times the hypotenuse. And the square root of 3 over 2 times 4 is equal to 2 square root of 3 that is the length of side PT. Let's focus our attention to this trapezoid. What is the area of this trapezoid? We can think of QR as base 1, PS as base 2, and SR as our height. So using now the formula for the area of a trapezoid, we have 1 half times the height times the sum of the two bases, base 1 and base 2. So substituting the height and the base values, we have the height equals 2 square root of 3, that is the length of segment SR. Base 1 is this radius, which is 3 units. And base 2 is this other radius, which is 1 unit. Simplifying, this gives us 4 square root of 3 for the area of this trapezoid. Let's analyze our figure. Notice that in order to find the area of this red shaded region, we can simply subtract from the area of the trapezoid, which you already know, the area of these two blue sectors. The first sector is this sector from the small circle, and the other sector is the sector of the bigger circle. We know that the angle here is 30 plus the right angle that gives us 120. So for the area of this blue sector from the smaller circle, this is equal to 120 over 360 of the area of the smaller circle, which is computed as pi r squared with r equals 1. So pi times 1 squared is simply pi. So therefore, for the area of this sector, we have pi over 3. Now let's get the area of this bigger sector. Again, the angle here is 60 degrees. So 60 out of 360 times the area of the bigger circle. So pi r squared is the formula where r is 3. So 3 squared is 9 times pi or 9 pi. Simplifying, we arrive at 3 pi over 2 for the area of this bigger sector. So for the area now that's remaining, that's the area of this red shaded region, we just have to subtract 4 pi over 3 minus pi over 3 minus 3 pi over 2. We can simplify this as 4 pi over 3 minus the sum of these two. When you distribute, you still go back to the original. And then pi over 3 plus 3 pi over 2 gives us 11 pi over 6. So finally, our answer is 4 square root of 3 
minus 11 pi over 6 for the area of this shaded region. And that is now our final answer.